I'm Ramesh Nithyendran and I'm currently working on a project for the 2016 Kwandu Biennale um, that will be exhibited in the Kwandu National Museum of Fine Arts in Taipei. Um, for this project I'm working with curator Glenn Barkley and to I guess present a large site specific installation and it'll be the first ephemeral installation I've ever produced. In terms of the context of the Biennale, um, it's a really interesting model where it's focused on countries and artists who are practicing within the Asia Pacific region. So there's 10 curators and each of those curators chooses an artist and they kind of come together as a pair and present these 10 solo exhibitions in the context of that museum. So the Biennale theme for 2016 is slaying the monster and um, I think like on a very literal level there's this kind of monstrous element to some of the forms like they're kind of human, animal, larger than life, big, some people say a bit scary, a bit ghost-like um, but I was kind of considering it more as doing this larger than life creation scene that was a little bit violent at the same time so thinking about this idea of like slaying and creating in this whole um, I guess dual context because at the end of the day this everything I make is either going to get binned or just the clay I use will be recycled and just go to students so there's this whole kind of narrative about life and death in it anyway just in the what's going to happen to the work. So I'm really interested in more ephemeral based installations because I'm quite um, I'm working on a couple of projects uh, that are pretty much like, I guess, what you'd refer to as kind of big institutional shows. And I think the luxury of that context is that you get to be supported to make these kind of large projects without having to worry too much about the um, role of it being a commodity. So, you know, this it's fine if it gets thrown in the bin and really what it exists for is um, career development, professional development and contributing to discourse. Uh, I think it's kind of nerve-wracking but exciting, but I don't really know for sure how the works are going to be made because I haven't gotten to the space and I think responding to that space is really central to how I make them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrive, um, I'll have my big like platforms with wheels on them and basically start making like big coils like anacondas, like big ass sausages and just start rolling them and go up um, pretty much as high as I can and then just start adding all the figurative elements to it. So working with these base shapes like mounds and then thinking about ways to include heads, um, bodies, nipples, penises, vaginas, breasts. Like, so I'm kind of working with um, getting a sense of the whole shapes first and then starting to add the detail to them. And the really good part about working in this kind of ephemeral way is I'm just going to paint them with acrylic paint and house paints and things like that. Um, because you know, if I was to fire that, the acrylic paint would just burn out and it would disappear. So, like, I'm really excited to work like that. Um, like, I was trained in painting in university, so that was that's where my like training comes from, if I was to use that word. And um, I've chosen a clay with a dark body to make these works. So, I guess it makes more sense because I kind of conceive this work as a giant self-portrait in some ways. I'm not really sure how the local audience is going to receive the work, but. At the same time, I just thought, you know, just take a big risk um, and I think it's really important not to, I guess, self-censor, it's important to be sensitive to cultural context, but at the same time not patronise your audience or um, censor yourself in this paternalistic way. So I'm just going to go completely out there and wild and um, just put it out there and see what happens. And I think that's what um, a Biennale context should be for, to take risks, um, be experimental and present ideas, not products to decorate houses.